Hello, this is Yorick with Crypto Manufacture. Today I'm going to show you how to secure a Grafana dashboard or any other UI that may, you might be running on a cloud connected um, PC. Uh, this could also be your home PC and you want uh, the ability to actually get into Grafana while you're abroad, or maybe it's in a VPS somewhere, right? So by default, when I look at Grafana here, for example, I have my IP address and um, the port. This is unencrypted and I have this um, available directly over the internet. For security reasons, this is not great. So what I want to do is I want to secure this. I will show you this two different ways. The first way I will show you uh, is just using an SSH tunnel. Conceptually, what an SSH tunnel does is I am connecting via SSH secure shell, I am placing the traffic into the tunnel on one end locally on this PC here, and then it comes out on the other end and is forwarded to wherever it needs to go to the PC there. Okay, great. So the next step I'm going to show you is how to configure UFW to be in front of Docker. If you're not in Docker, then you don't need this step. Um, you would still configure UFW, but you would not need the step where you place it in front of Docker. If you're in system D, you can just use UFW right away. Um, if you're in Docker through say F Docker, then what you need to do first is force UFW, the Ubuntu firewall to be in front of Docker because otherwise Docker will just blast right through whatever rules you have in there. So first thing you need to do is edit these after rules here. Let's do that. Go to the very end. Don't delete the commit line exactly. We need that. Um, copy all this, paste it, and then Control X and yes. Okay, done. Second, I need the before in it. And I'm gonna go to stop. And you see this, this is empty right now. I'm just gonna grab these three lines here copy them, paste them in, control X, yes, save that, and then it needs to be executable. So we're going to run this change mod command here, which says um, owner and group can execute and everyone has no rights. All right, perfect. And then reload UFW. That's assuming I'm already um, actually running it, which in this case I am. Okay, perfect. Now, what's next? Example, Grafana on port 3000. So, I want to, uh, what I'm, my intent here is, right, I'm going to allow from localhost to port 3000 and deny from everywhere else. So, let's do this. So, just let's just check first, I can get to this um, Grafana. And you can see I can still, right? Right now this is working. I have the IP address and 3000, I can get to it. That's when I want to stop. So I'm gonna say, allow this from localhost and then deny it just categorically from everywhere else. Okay, now when I reload this, I expect it will fail. And I see it just motoring here. It can't get to it anymore. This is actually what I want. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna exit my SSH session here. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna give myself a new SSH session. And what I'm gonna say is L for, um, that's the tunneling, port 3000 locally, so on my machine. And where should it go once it end, exits the tunnel on the far end. It should go to 127.0.0.1, so that's localhost 3000. So the way this translates one more time, L is the tunneling. On my local PC, anything that goes into port 3000 should then on the other side of the tunnel be sent to localhost 3000. All right, here we go. Okay, I have that open, now let's try that. I'm gonna go, again, this is not encrypted, but now it's, well, I'll take this back. So it is HTTP, um, 
the HTTP traffic itself isn't encrypted, but it does get encrypted through the SSH tunnel, the secure shell tunnel, right? So I'm entering on localhost 3000, my PC, send it through the tunnel, and then it goes to localhost 3000 on the remote end, the Unix box or Linux box. And there we are. All right, great, that works. So it can get in here. I can log in. And I am connected and I can go see my, my Teco Evo view here, for example. And in this case, this is an SSV, so I can see my blocks SSV operator dashboard, which is currently syncing. So this all works. For most people, this is good enough, right? And if you're losing like a, um, a party or something, you can save all that so you don't have to um, type that, or you can create yourself an alias on your machine or a little batch file or whatever you like so that that port 3000 gets forwarded. And this is absolutely good enough for most people. A more advanced way of securing Grafana would be through a secure web proxy such as traffic. So it's available through HTTPS directly from the web. So what we'll need is um, to change this from the shared ports on the host, which is just uh, port 3000. Get rid of this Grafana shared here and do traffic cf.yaml. That's going to be via Cloudflare. And then we'll also fill out this domain and email here, but that's later. So first, I need an actual domain which I'm going to get from Cloudflare. You can just go to register and then register and grab yourself a domain name you like. Um, my SSV and buy whichever you like. Once that's done, we'll go to the website itself. In my case, it's Ethereum for the win. And uh, just take a quick look at it. And now we need the API token. So this is a scoped API token with these permissions here for all zones. So let's go in and say, I want a new token under API tokens here and create the token. And it's going to be a um, custom token. Um, let's call that traffic. Permissions is going to be zone and then DNS edit and also zone and then zone again and read and zone and zone settings read for all zones and continue to summary and then create this token. Here's my uh, token that I get. This is only shown once to me. This would now go into Bitwarden or something of, the, of that nature. Since I'm going to get rid of it after this demo, I'm just going to stick it into my trusty notepad. There it is. Okay. And now what's next? Um, in the env file, set the email and the API token and the DNAS subdomain. So what this does also is it actually sets the IP address of my device automatically with Cloudflare. I'm going to not use a subdomain, so I could do like, um, you know, SSV dot um, Ethereum for the win, but I'm just going to do Ethereum for the win. I'm going to set the proxy here to false so I can SSH to it without issue. Let's do that now. Go into env, and then my domain here, that's the one I uh, have on Cloudflare. So you can type ethereum for the dot win, and then my email address I created for this purpose, etheducator at gmail.com. And one more time, so that's one, Acme is for the Let's Encrypt token, as uh, Sorry, token. Let's encrypt certificate for the TLS certificate, which I'm going to get free from Let's Encrypt. And then see if email is the actual email with Cloudflare. See if API token is the token I just created. Um, Grafana host is what I'm going to be uh, reaching this at. So it would be grafana.ethereum for the dot win. It's fine. I'll leave it at Grafana. Dean desk subdomain none. Um, right on the main domain and then the proxy false. Okay, X that and just do a quick restart so that this takes effect. 
and then when this is running I'm going to take a, a look at it um, to see that it has created the IP address for me. I'll be right back when this is started. Right, I'm going to take a look here at the CF DDNS, a dynamic DNS service, and it should have created this for me, DNS record Ethereum for the win was not found, creating, and it was created with that IP address. So now if I go back here into Cloudflare and then DNS, I should see that. And there it is, it's an A record. So now what do, else do I need? I need to get to be able to get to Grafana. So I'm gonna create an alias a C name called Grafana directly to the domain. So C name Grafana directly to my domain and save. Okay, so now before I can go, I can need one more thing here under SSL TLS. I want this as full strict uh, because I do have my own certificates. And then also under edge certificates, I will want to say always use HTTPS. So it always gets redirected to HTTPS. And I want to set this to TLS 1.2 for security reasons. That should do it. And with that, let's give it a try reload this page and I see I get redirected to HTTPS and here is Grafana. And I can get to my dashboards such as my Teku overview here. It's currently saying no data, not sure why. So if I uh, go look at Teku to see what it is doing, I can see it's not actually up yet. It is uh, still thinking about it from my restart. I was a little bit too fast here. Okay, so there's one more thing I might want to do, and that is um, right now I can get at the um, at Grafana through Cloudflare and its DDoS protection but I can also get at it directly, right? So it would make sense for me to firewall this so it's only allowed from the uh, from the Cloudflare IP addresses itself. So let's take a quick look at that. So I'm gonna go back to Cloudflare, say I wanna to go to support and the help center I'm going to just look for address range and see whether that gets me what I need. Allowing Cloudflare IP addresses, that sounds right. And that has another link to Cloudflare IP addresses. Let's take a look at that. Here we are. You can use the Cloudflare API. We're not going to do that right, right this very second. Let's see whether this text list is more useful. Um, there it is, this is actually quite nice. So I'm gonna prep this now for a UFW uh, list of rules. Uh, it's gonna take a minute, I'm just gonna show you one. So I'm gonna say sudo UFW allow proto TCP from, and then one of these addresses here. Uh, let's say that one, it's actually an address range to any port 443. I'm going to repeat that, so give me a sec. So I do need the entire list here so that all cloud for connections work. And I'm going to just say deny 443 at the end, right? So I'm just going to copy paste that into my command line. These IP addresses can change. When they do, you expect an email from Cloudflare telling you that they changed. So I'm just gonna paste all that in here. And then check one more time that this works still, that I don't have any issues. Reload my Grafana, I can still get to it. So what I've done now is I have told um, my firewall here to deny the port 
uh, HTTPS 443 with the exception of all these Cloudflare ranges. So only the proxied Cloudflare traffic to, can get to me and I am protected from denial of service. And that's all I can think of for how to protect a Grafana on a, a Docker installation. Thank you.